Hi in this video, I'm going to tell you more about high blood pressure, or hypertension, is called the silent killer for good reason. It often has no symptoms, but is a major risk for heart disease and stroke. And these diseases are among the leading causes of death in the United States. As you can see, your blood pressure depends on how much blood your heart is pumping, and how much resistance there is to blood flow in your arteries. The narrower your arteries, the higher your blood pressure. In fact, blood pressure lower than 120 80ths of a millimeter Hg is considered normal. Blood pressure that's 130 80ths of a millimeter Hg or more is considered high. If your numbers are above normal but under 130 80ths of a millimeter Hg, you fall into the category of elevated blood pressure. This means that you're at risk for developing high blood pressure. So, here are 5 effective ways to lower your blood pressure levels. 1. Increase activity and exercise more. In a 2013 study, sedentary older adults who participated in aerobic exercise training lowered their blood pressure, by an average of 3.9% systolic and 4.5% diastolic. These results are as good as some blood pressure medications. As you regularly increase your heart and breathing rates, over time your heart gets stronger and pumps with less effort. This puts less pressure on your arteries and lowers your blood pressure. Just do it regularly and work up to at least half an hour per day of moderate activity. 2. Lose weight if you're overweight. If you're overweight, losing even 5 to 10 pounds can reduce your blood pressure. Plus, you'll lower your risk for other medical problems. A 2016 review of several studies reported that weight loss diets reduced blood pressure by an average of 3.2 mm Hg diastolic and 4.5 mm Hg systolic. 3. Cut back on sugar and refined carbohydrates. You see, many scientific studies show that restricting sugar and refined carbohydrates can help you lose weight and lower your blood pressure. In fact, a 2010 study compared a low-carb diet to a low-fat diet. The low-fat diet included a diet drug. Both diets produced weight loss, but the low-carb diet was much more effective in lowering blood pressure. The low-carb diet lowered blood pressure by 4.5 mm Hg diastolic and 5.9 mm Hg systolic. The diet of low-fat plus the diet drug lowered blood pressure by only 0.4 mm Hg diastolic and 1.5 mm Hg systolic. 4. Eat more potassium and less sodium. As you well know, increasing your potassium intake and cutting back on salt can also lower your blood pressure. Well, potassium is a double winner, it lessens the effects of salt in your system, and also eases tension in your blood vessels. However, diets rich in potassium may be harmful to individuals with kidney disease, so talk to your doctor before increasing your potassium intake. 5. Eat less processed food. Most of the extra salt in your diet comes from processed foods and foods from restaurants, not your salt shaker at home. Popular high-salt items include deli meats, canned soup, pizza, chips, and other processed snacks. Foods labeled low-fat are usually high in salt and sugar to compensate for the loss of fat. Fat is what gives food taste and makes you feel full. You see, cutting down on, or even better, cutting out processed food will help you eat less salt, less sugar, and fewer refined carbohydrates. All of this can result in lower blood pressure. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, a sodium listing of 5% or less on a food label is considered low, while 20% or more is considered high. That's going to be the video, thanks for watching and don't forget to click the link in description below to discover the best ways to lower your blood pressure fast and naturally.